This is the latest results from Uttar Pradesh so far. You have the BJP at 253 total so far. There's a ga- uh, there's a loss of 36. You have Sapa with uh, 112 uh, gain of 40. So you need 202 for majority. So there's a very very comfortable majority for the BJP. Uh, two two questions really quickly for you, Abhijit. Number one, and I have a few things to show you guys related to this election. But to two questions first. First of all, question number one is that the anti-BJP people are saying that they 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 are the flip side of that coin is that I don't think people realize the history of Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh is anti-incumbency that is strong that for a party to come back to power with such a strong majority is virtually unseen. It hasn't happened since 1985. Yeah. Okay, it simply hasn't happened till 1985. So this is literally in what, uh, 95, 2005, 2015. Almost 30, 30, 30, 30, yeah, 30, 40 years. Almost. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, it is a big deal. But remember, there was also this thing that, uh, how is it that the voter percentage increased by 5%? It went from 39% to 44%. Yeah. And they ended up with fewer seats. Yeah. And this was something that a lot of people had been talking about, that at least 70 seats uh, were sabotaged uh, from Delhi. Interesting. Uh, they picked unwillable candidates because they wanted to have some kind of control over Yogi. Oh, interesting. So technically, if you had left those 70 to the state leadership, uh. you would have seen 250 plus 70 right now. Maybe not all 70, but... Yeah, you yeah. would have been over 300. Let's say 35 even. I think optimally what the uh, Delhi leadership was hoping for was about uh, 215 to 220. That would have been enough to, you know, keep the chief minister on tender hooks. Interesting. Mm. So this was something which a lot of people within the party were telling me. Mm. Uh, and uh, that is something you need to keep at the back of your mind. Right. <laughs> Uh, now, let's look at the scale of this victory. Sure, huh. 250 isn't all that great. Okay. Uh, but it's a very comfortable but, majority. It's a very comfortable majority. Usko huh. uh, but the main thing here is look what it's come on the back of. COVID lockdown that sent hundreds of thousands of migrant laborers back in miserable conditions, uh, uh, destitution, poverty increasing. Uh, the Hathras rape case, the Lakhipur yeah. Keri uh, 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 incident, uh, the farmers' protest, uh, yeah. God knows what else. These last two, <coughs> two and a half years have not been good years. Yeah. In spite of that, you have managed to get an absolute majority. Yeah. That's very, very important. Okay. Uh, I think the next time when you don't have all these issues, hmm. you might actually see an even... F- and in spite of that, you've got 44% and 5% increase in voter share. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is it is it 44%? The, yeah. The, achha, it says 41 BJP and allies the... around 44.8%. Right? Oh my God. That's yeah. incredible. Uh, yeah. So Kushal, I have a question for you related to this actually because uh, I've I've seen this being discussed before the elections when it came to come, came to UP a lot. Because look, UP me BJP kyu jite ya yogi kyu jite? Bhot saare reasons hai. You know the infrastructure ke reasons hai, jitne highway bagera banwaye hai, pandemic me jo direct benefit transfers hue hai, jam trinity ke istemal se that plays a big role. You have the UP government effectively flattening the curve so much so ki iska sala India ke bahar bhi baat hoti hai. You have the effective administration aspect of it. You have the ease of doing business. Something then Shantanu Gupta explained to me, the biographer of Yogi, that how the ease of doing business has gone up. But one of the things that got talked about like almost more than anything else, even in, in either the news or in media or in, you know, those jo yin reporter log hote jo election ke pehle ja ke wo bheed vheer se baat karte hai ke sar aapko kya lagta us tarah se. Whenever, jab bhi main dekhta hon ki in logo se baat karte, to invariably 90% of the people will say ke dekhye, Yogi ji ke pehle, hum logo ko humari jaan ka khatra rata tha 24 ghante. Hum logo ko dar lagta tha ke kam kidnap ho jayenge, kab chori ho jayega, kab robbery ho jayegi, ye ho jayegi, kab jameen chhin jayegi. 
अब हमको योगी जी के आने के बाद से कम से कम वो डर पूरी तरह से हमारे दिमाग से निकल गया है and i i understand that very very well because i am from bihar up bihar ka law and order situation used to be basically exactly the same bihar unfortunately hasn't improved a lot but if you talk to people in up they'll tell you ke yaar nahi ab wo jo ek hamare dimag mein dar baitha rehta tha na wo dar ab khatam ho gaya hai ke bhai koi aa jayega hamare bachche ko kidnap ho jayenge hamare papa kidnap ho jayenge ya doctoron ko you know in sab uh, bodyguards ke sath ghumna padta hai so you and you know we've talked about on the show a bunch about law and order ki kitni zarurat hai india mein you here you have this person who brings in major law and order changes in the state of uttar pradesh and is getting rewarded for it people are recognizing it he is getting rewarded for it in terms of electoral performances despite all the problems that he's faced over the last couple of years mm-hmm. do you think that finally uttar pradesh can set a template for law and order issues becoming a genuine like electoral issue in different states in the country yeah before i answer that i just want to spare a moment you know uh, <laughs> you know, we could you know, do it totally <laughs> yeah i just i i think this is a very Tutti. somber moment in our democracy so i share her sentiment <laughs> sorry totally you know? yeah. yeah we आप देख रहे हैं राज्यों का फैसला भारतीय जनता पार्टी तमाम तरह की महंगाई बेरोजगारी कोरोना की दूसरी तीसरी लहर की नाकामियों के बाद भी चार राज्यों में वापसी कर रही है इतना दर्द इतना पेन आप उनकी आप इनकी आवाज में यू कैन हियर द पेन आवाज में सुन सकते हो दर्द सुबह सुबह मैंने अभिजीत का इसके लिए वॉइस नोट भेजा था मतलब प्लीज रविश को देख बहुत मजा बहुत मजा आया बहुत मजा आया बहुत मैं आई वाज सो हैप्पी मैं जो अमित मालवीय और राजदीप सरदेसाई का अच्छा यस यस आई हैव टू प्ले दैट वन एज़ वेल आई विल प्ले या सो नाउ ओके नाउ ऑन द नाउ ऑन द क्वेश्चन यू आस्क आई आई एग्री विद यू आई थिंक लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट फैक्टर इवन व्हेन आई वुड स्पीक विद यू नो migrant laborers whether they work in my factory <coughs> or some other yeah they they would they would talk about law and order all the time because uh, that is an issue that's not a issue pertaining to up bihar per se that's a human yeah. issue right anybody yes. who 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 wants a stable society one of the biggest uh, pillars in formulation in the formulation of a stable society is law and order and what i have noticed when it comes to Yogi Adityanath's governance model is he's always been tough on law and order and yeah. and he he does crack down over there. So you know, kudos to the man. He has by himself the BJP has two fifty three vo plus seats. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, the combination will end up around two seventy two seventy five, which is closer to a two third majority. Is it uh, the same as the last time? No, but. Uh, well see you'll have to wait for 3 4 days to dissect how much of the jatav vote has come to bjp huh. how much of uh, the jatav vote has left bjp yeah. uh, but uh, look clearly western up has overwhelmingly voted for bjp so let us say there was a jat consolidation in western up for party x but then the non jat uh, consolidation has clearly gone to bjp in even yeah. in western up so whether we like but it or not as usual if if a party like if a party is winning this many seats a comfortable majority let's say they end up at around 270 even you know regardless of what is happening you can still say you can still make a very good point that in a state as large as uttar pradesh there is still a lot of voting for this bjp across caste lines oh bjp see um BJP has clearly started breaking the caste barriers. In fact, now is the biggest proof. People forget why yeah. are we only saying BJP has broken caste barriers in elections? Yeah. You have another party this time that has broken caste barriers in election. That is the Aam Aadmi Party. Yeah. So every time voters who can get over their caste identity, even at the state level, see this used to be the whole trope in India that oh national level pe people have started voting for Hindutva beyond caste. the trend has now broken to your uh, municipal level to nahi main bolunga magar definitely yeah. at your state assembly level it has been broken not just on the bjp and up it is clearly visible in the aam aadmi and party in punjab in fact very very 
openly visible in the aam aadmi party in punjab yeah, yeah. they have swept the entire political region maja dwaba malwa try and understand they were malwa based in 2017 18 yeah. out of their 20 seats were all in malwa they have swept the whole freaking state so they cannot do it without all caste voting for them so the whole bogey of hindus votes their caste has to be now challenged at a very serious level yeah what are the reasons i don't know that is for sociologists and social social science uh, experts to there could be multiple reasons for that yeah and uh, let's see it's it's it, overall it's a very good day for india yeah i i so abhi abhijit ne bola so i have to now show this as well this is from <laughs> This is from Papsi Tannu ne ye share kiya hai. This is an exchange between Amit Malviya and Rajdeep Sardesai this around the hilarious. elections. Like Mr. Malviya, and I will tell you this with all humility. I suggest you read it. It's in English, very simply written, <laughs> where I say BJP has a clear lead in UP. I challenge any of your Godi media to ever say <laughs> that the opposition is leading in a state where they are actually leading. That's the difference between the people that you patronize and the journalism. I, I started journalism when you were probably in school, sir. So please, with due regard, I wish you well. Congratulations, great day for you. And I'm going to dance. I promise. <laughs> well, Razdi, as far as Godi media is concerned, the people whose Godi you want to sit in does not have or do not have the people's mandate. As far as your journalism is concerned, people should watch your interview of Sonia Gandhi and Anand Bhavan. Please What go. a lamb looks like, they will know. So please, about your journalism, everybody knows about it. Be gracious, accept, accept the congratulations. Be gracious at this time. There's no point he's getting entitled. into personal attacks. Be gracious. We're he's congratulating entitled. you. He's the head of the IT <laughs> cell. He has to every day attack someone. He tells the trolls who to attack. Uh. That's his job. Why are we fighting? Amit Malviya, it's a big day. It's a big victory. He's a troll <laughs> army. He's leading in four states. His troll states, army four states. makes memes on this, me. Do you think... You were very closely involved in the West Bengal campaign. Um, Do you think you were completely done and done for two zero two four BJP conversation? Because uh, clearly, I don't think Rajdeep is capable of holding one to substantive Wait. conversation. Because uh, clearly, I don't think Rajdeep is capable of holding one. <laughs> but Bengal, the BJP has thirty eight percent vote share. Ah, बहुत बजाय है बचारे की. Very sad life. वो 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 मीम नहीं है सीन नहीं उसमें वेलकम फिल्म में सीन नहीं है अब ये पागल जी नहीं पाएगा एज एज इज बीटिंग इज ओन हेड अब ये पागल जी नहीं पाएगा दैट्स वेयर वी आर दैट्स वेयर वी आर इट इज लखीमपुर खेरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में यूपी में है सारी आठ सीटें जीत गई बीजेपी रियली हां ऐसा कुछ है सो वाओ योगी इन द रिकॉर्ड बुक्स किसी ने मारे शकील ने ट्वीट किया था फर्स्ट सीएम टू रिटेन पावर इन 27 इयर्स थर्ड सीएम टू कंप्लीट 5 ईयर टेन्योर फर्स्ट सीएम टू कंप्लीट अ टेन्योर एंड विन अ सेकंड टर्म या फिफ्थ सीएम टू विन अ कंसेक्यूटिव टर्म फर्स्ट बीजेपी सीएम टू रिटर्न टू पावर पता नहीं ये कैसे उसने लिखा है मेरे को समझ नहीं पड़ा मे बी इन यूपी होगा फर्स्ट सीएम टू ब्रेक नोएडा जिंक्स अपेरेंटली वो जो बोलते हैं ना नोएडा की जिंक्स है यूपी में वो भी तो मतलब बेसिकली सारी चीजें महाराज जी ने तोड़ दी है एंड यू वन देवबंद अल्टीमेट बेचती 